Good morning. We are here at Toronto and we're trying to get our recording going. We do. We're uh, on the air. So we've got Dark Star out again and uh, today we're going from Toronto and what we're to, going to try to retrace the, the rails, IFR, I follow rails, except they aren't going to be perfect on this. Uh, we've kind of taken a direct shot uh, on our course up here, which is uh, to Edmonton, way across by the Rockies. And uh, we will have to first go, go north out of Toronto, and around Lake Huron there's a bay on the east side of Huron, which is called um, Georgian Bay. And so we go around Georgian Bay, which is, again, part of Lake Huron, Huron, and then uh, we swing to the, to the uh, west and uh, just skirt the north, north edge, uh, northeast to start and go over the top. Uh, north is uh, Terrace Bay up in there. Uh, around to Thunderbird Bay, which is uh, just uh, on the uh, starting on the west uh, west shore, just uh, off the off the top. I don't know what that sandstone was. Anyway, here we go. Uh, get the brake off. We gotta we gotta go in here because we're gonna click up the uh, afterburners. We go to full power. Oh, oh, an airplane wanted to wanted to go. So we go in here and click, click, back out, rotate, gear up, no flaps. Experimental 7 Bravo Charlie, continue for north departure. Okay, I'll be saying goodbye here. Goodbye, Toronto. I don't know where the railroad tracks are, so we won't actually be following the railroad tracks. But there goes, there goes Toronto in the background. And uh, continue north uh, here from Toronto. And uh, we will uh, into uh, Lake Huron and there's Georgian Bay, part of Lake Huron. And we go around Lake Huron and then uh, around Lake Superior to Thunder, Bridge, Thunder Bay. So we'll see if we can find our way to Thunder Bay. Everything looks okay. Yeah. Probably go ahead to get the strand jet ready for IFR departure, runway 24 left. Jet 8357 altimeter, 2 niner decimal niner, 2 wind calm traffic is generic uh, on final. Let's go ahead. Caution the generic, get, taking get off runway 24 right. Cleared for takeoff runway 24 left. There we go. I can see, I can see the uh, rod coming up. Cleared Better here than I can outside. Oh, I could watch the light, see if the light changes here. And try to, try to get, yeah. This is Lake Huron coming up, and the train train tracks that go over to the right here. So we're not going to exactly follow the, uh, the Canadian. Used to call it the Canadian Pacific. Now it's Via Rail Canada. I think it's the same thing. 
and they had two sleeper trains. Uh, one from Toronto to Vancouver, and the other one goes from Vancouver to Toronto. <laughs> That's a surprise. Well, here's your arm. Goes right around over here, goes around the, what they call Georgian Bay. How are we doing? Our speed here, and yeah, we're, we're, we're cooking. We're cooking. One thousand feet. Let's look at here. Mach 2. There's uh, Georgian Bay off, off to the right of that island. We'll look out to the right here. Yeah, Georgian Bay right over there. How are we doing? We got a little bit, a little bit close high. Here we go. Start coming around to the left. And the train go is is out of sight up on the top of the lake. We should be getting our scramjets. There they go. Thunder Bay, and we'll be back on course by the time we get to Thunder Bay. And we'll get outside, look outside what, what's happening out there. And we start seeing the top of Iran down up in here. We start seeing Superior. And we'll keep it coming around to the left. This. Wind calm. Visibility niner. Sky condition clear. Temperature one five C. Dew point one tree C. Altimeter two niner niner two. Kilo Oscar Sierra Charlie. Automated weather observation one six zero zero Zulu. Wind oh, calm. Take on the sea. Visibility niner. Uh, this is the connection right here between uh, Lake Huron and Lake Superior, right down here to the left. So we need to keep uh, keep coming left a little bit to hit Thunder Bay. I think that might might just do it right there. I think we can stop climbing. Stop climbing. I think we'll hang right, right there. We stop our turn. Yeah, we come back just a little bit. This is all Lake Superior here. I think we want to go right over, right past that uh, that point sticking out to uh, just to the right of that for Thunder Bay. And again, our choo choo is uh, heading along along this part right in right in right in here, going around. Going right into Thunder Bay, which is just just behind this little Some traffic island. Traffic generic Charlie Fox Mike six miles west inbound ILS see, runway back one on two. Course, course now, so we have to come back to the right. We're on course. 
course. Almost Mach 9. Lake Superior. Let's give a look, little look around for Lake Superior. Lake Garon. I don't know what those two guys are doing. What that is. A glitch. We got a glitch. Yeah, I, I came came left a little too far. Here's Thunder Bay right here. Winnipeg. Let's see if we can get get this to settle down here. We'll say hi to Thunder Bay. Never heard of Thunder Bay. There it is, right down there. Now we're right right on on course. Let's get this thing to settle down. What's interesting is all the all these little I mean it looks like it's marshy all this water in here wow I guess it uh, gets frozen solid in the in the winter time this could be our train tracks going right along here and of course uh, there'd be the, the road the road would be built along the tracks So uh, let's see if we see. There's there's a couple of big lake like Lake uh, Lake Winnipeg, I guess. It comes down to to Winnipeg. So we'll keep an eye out for that. We're getting off getting off course again. Doesn't take much when you're going when you're going. Uh, Look at it, we're almost going Mach 10. This does not have uh, cruise control. It doesn't have uh, autopilot. So you have to hand fly it all the way. And I'm guessing, eh, I might be guessing wrong. That could be Winnipeg right there. But there... There should be a couple of lakes coming coming down to it, so I might be premature. And I'm a little bit south, of course. Yeah, I think I'm. I might be premature on Winnipeg. I'll keep an eye out up here. Mach nine. We're, we're moving out. Moving out. Yeah, this little lake down here. This uh, this is uh, I, can't, I can't quite see right for over the city. Yeah, we aren't to Winnipeg yet. This is a little lake just before that. And the Kenora, Kenora, whether that's Kenora Lake or or what is down there, that's Kenora, right in there. And we'll get back out here for Winnipeg. And I see these two lakes coming down, so this is going to be Winnipeg right in here. Kind of zigzag. Here's here may be the, uh, the the train tracks, maybe going right along right along there. Yep. So we want to stay. Stages south of uh, the tips of these two uh, lakes, and this first one here is Lake Lake Winnipeg. And we'll get get back on 
get back on course here. And we're getting to getting to see 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 quite a bit. I wonder if this might be Winnipeg River. The city of Winnipeg. And then we wanna just kinda head head go with the flow here. Lost a little altitude. Actually in altitude terms, we've lost a lot of altitude. Okay, let's get back here. We'll go back inside because I don't care about the hearing all the noise. We'll do a little navigation because we're going to be going across the plains and then we'll be seeing the Rockies. But we'll get, we'll get right on uh, course and we'll get back up to 100,000 feet. So when we get down in the thicker air, it slows down. Likes that thin air in 100 to 150,000. Gets up to Mach 10. So we'll start climbing here again. Mach 6. Try to fly it from the outside. I can keep, keep a little better track of heading. Of course, I get get distracted. It's it's fun. I, I uh, got my basic course line, which is which is right right here, and uh, we're right on right on course. So all you have to do is just keep the wings level. Well, you know that. Uh, we. Uh, Going back up to Mach 9, and we're up at 100,000 feet, so we'll just kind of level off and scoot along here at Mach 9.5. Here, Mach 9, 9.8. Really moving out right now. We can do our little night trick. Do our little night. Let's do a little. Night, night, night flight. It's the morning, the morning sun coming up. Well, that's kind of pretty. Yeah, we keep, keep it uh, right on course here. We can kind of see the, the sun this, uh, th this time of year. Uh, you do get. Uh, Get some sun in the in the Arctic Arctic Circle. Now, whether we're heading, I can barely see a, a town, lights of town, up here. We'll go back and look look back. Oh, there's the moon. And we can't even can't even see uh, Winnipeg. It's gone out of sight. All right, that's pretty. Pretty. Mach 9.88. Here goes our course off to the left. We want to hit Edmonton. So we follow that right up to Edmonton. Then we start swinging to the left because we have to go down to Vancouver when we go over the Rockies. We go over Jasper. And then, uh, then an area called uh, Jasper and Canlopes. Canloops. Canloops. Yeah, that's pretty. And what that town is, it could be uh, Saskatoon and Saskatchewan. So we're over Saskatchewan. And we'll look down at that. So that might be Saskatoon, wherever, but anyway, that's an uh, area just uh, in the middle of Saskatchewan. And Edmonton is our next uh, 
next spot and I see some some little lights up up this way we'll get get back on course come back around to the left a little bit to start slowing her down. North Battleford. And Lloydminster. My sister's name is Lloyd. Now we won't get into why I was called Blair and she was called Lloyd. We don't have to do that. So anyway, we're going to go left here. Let's get the lights back on. Coming back down again, but we we want to slow down. And probably the Rockies are going to be fun, and that's that's a good indication. Is uh, looking at, at this river running across here. That's that's where you like to run the rails is along the river. We're back to Mach six, and we're back to fifty-seven thousand feet. So it'd be likely that we're right over the train tracks. And we got to move our sun out of our eyes. We'll move it to earlier in the day. That's better. And it looks like we're going west because look at how all the all the uh, farms, the farmlands, they they used the the grid to figure out which way they were going. So we could be right over the railroad tracks. And what does it say here? Got like seven miles to Edmonton, and then we shoot down on a probably a heading of uh, 250. Come left, so we'll fly here over Edmonton. pretty good. We're doing pretty good. And Edmonton's got a couple lakes around it, so we should see downtown Edmonton here. Yeah, this looks like a downtown area coming up here. What are we doing? Mach six and a half, Mach six point five, little airport right down below us. So this is Edmonton. I see the freeway but I'm not sure about the where the railroad tracks are. There's another airport right under our left wing. Now we want to head down and that's good we're going slow because we have to swig left to 250. And go over the Rockies. So we'll keep it on about 250 as we go. And then when we hit the Rockies, we want to turn to about 200 and head, head for Cantaloupes and uh, Vancouver. That is working out pretty good on the, uh, being able to turn, turn our uh, lead sled here, Dark Star. So 
So this is Jasper, and then on down the Rockies, so Banff would be down in there. Yeah, we'll put it on about 2-4, two 2-4-0. Four, two four This is probably where the train goes, right along there. You can see the highway. IFR, I follow roads and uh, IFR, I follow rail. Of course, they don't show the rail like they do on a normal chart. They just show the highways. That makes sense. Okay, we're 240 heading into the Rockies. I don't think we'll see any skiers. This could be Jasper right here. Let's see if it pops up. No pop up. We're too high. Yep, Dad, Jasper. Jasper right there. So we hit Jasper. There, there, are, the, there are the Rockies. Now we want to go to uh, 200 degrees. We may have the train tracks running out through here. And then we have a little little valleys running down down that way, so it's hard to hard to say how the train train proceeded uh, through this area. Some nice lakes in here. I heard the name Lake Louise, and so that might be Lake Louise. I don't know where Lake Louise is. And I've never been to Canloops either. So, so. And where are we on our out? Seventy-eight thousand. We're doing Mach seven. We're doing pretty good. Coming around, we need to get around about 200 degrees. We're back at the Rockies and maybe Lake Louise and the sun. And we look for Canloops and Vancouver. Back up to Mach 9. What's this? Uh, we get get a little fix on that. No, nope, it's not going to pop up. Not going to pop up. So of course, when we hit uh, hit the hit the coast in uh, Vancouver Island, probably uh, hit midpoint Vancouver Island. Have to make a left turn. Good. You can see the see the west, west coast here going on. Maybe we're going to see it on our screen. Yeah, yeah. There we see we see better on our on our screen here. And probably going to be a little less than two hundred. 50,000 feet. We can sh turn off our scram, uh, scram jets. We're slow 
going down. Yeah, I think we want to just head head on down. I think that's uh, Vancouver Island. Yeah. And on down there is Vancouver. coast. There we go. That's a little better. Now we can see what we're doing. Whether this is Vancouver st sticking out right there. like Vancouver right there. Shut off the the engines. Start our free fall. This this uh, this looks like uh, the airport right here. there. Vancouver International. Let's see what they tell us. Bravo Charlie is six miles southwest, 12,700 feet with Yankee to land. Experimental 527, Bravo Charlie Tower. Altimeter 29er, decimal 9 or 2, wind calm, make left downwind, runway 26 left. Fly left traffic, runway 26 left, experimental 7, Bravo Charlie. Vancouver. I was a little busy there. I don't Order talk. Order Please acknowledge. I don't talk much when I get busy. Experimental seven. Bravo Charlie, number two for landing. Follow the generic on final. Wind calm, clear to land runway two six left. Clear to land runway two six left. Number two. Experimental seven. Bravo Charlie. Glacier 561, go around. Going around Porter Tree 05. Porter Tree 
Sleeper train. Canadian sleeper train. There we go. Where's the other guy? Yeah, we can't quite see. That. So we'll look around our Vancouver for a bit. Those are Air Canada colors. Bigger, bigger airport. Big international airport. So we we're good bid you a good bye. Au revoir. Au revoir. We're, we're, we're in Canada. We can speak a little French. Thanks for watching. Bye.